According to insiders who spoke to the Sunday Express, Prince William seems to have enough on his plate and is not eager to allow Harry to rejoin the royal family. A number of outlets reported yesterday night that Prince William had eliminated any possibility of a royal reunion with his brother, Prince Harry. Following the news that his father had been diagnosed with cancer, it is said that the Duke of Sussex had a number of warm exchanges with his father. He has also informed his friends that he would take on a royal role while his father is dealing with his illness. If the royal family were to start again, it would certainly imply that Prince Harry and Prince William would put their disagreements aside. However, sources close to the Prince of Wales have categorically rejected the notion by a significant margin. According to a source inside the royal family, there is absolutely no way that the Prince of Wales will wear it. As far as his brother is concerned, there has been no change in the circumstances surrounding Harry's desire to resume his position as a member of the royal family. At the present, Prince William is already dealing with a lot of responsibilities. Both his father and his wife are now undergoing treatment for cancer, and his wife is recuperating from abdominal surgery. He is just not capable of putting in the effort required for this. Harry seemed to extend a very public olive branch to his family during an interview that was shown on American television, which led to the emergence of reports that Prince Harry was seeking a partial return to royal responsibilities. Will Reeve, an interviewer from the United States, inquired about Harry's emotional state during his hasty visit to his father at Clarence House after he received the news that he had a cancer diagnosis. The fact that I was able to hop on a plane and go visit him and spend any amount of time with him is something that I am thankful for. I love my family, and Harry said, I love my family. A return to the fold for Harry would not be as straightforward as just providing him with a schedule of events to attend, according to many who follow the royal family. A profound mistrust of Harry is held by Prince and Princess Kate who are concerned that this may result in a dramatic rerun of the time when he departed, complete with agonizing conversations and specific requests. Similar to what he requested in 2020, before he and Meghan moved to California to start a new life, the request for a stand-in position is being made again. It was a decision made by the late Queen that the Sussexes could not be half in, half out. This was a resounding rejection of the proposed arrangement. Of well of this, the insults that have been directed on the family, particularly Queen Camilla, in books and television interviews, continue to throw enormous shadows. Moreover, Harry is now embroiled in a contentious case before the High Court, which has the potential to drag on for a considerable amount of time. In response to a question concerning the likelihood of a reconciliation between the two feuding brothers, an insider said, there has been no movement regarding this matter. Nothing has changed with regard to William's viewpoint. It is a long way from being possible for Harry to re-establish himself in the royal nest, despite the fact that the heir to the throne opened communication lines. After a transatlantic rush from California, in response to his father's prognosis, Harry met with the king and queen at Clarence House for a period of 30 minutes. During this encounter, the proposal was not brought up on the occasion. In the event that the proposal was made in a formal manner, it would need the creation of a written plan and its implementation by the king and his closest advisors. This would be necessary before Harry, who is 39 years old, and Meghan, who is 42 years old, could begin any official tasks on behalf of the monarch. It had been established that Harry would not be eligible the to receive of Wales, any public cash. who is recuperating from abdominal surgery and won't return to royal responsibilities until after Easter at the earliest, did not meet up with his brother Prince William or Kate, who was in Britain for less than 24 hours. When it came down to it, the concept was not even considered. In the interview that took place on Friday to commemorate the countdown to the Invictus Games, Harry revealed that he had contemplated applying for American citizenship. But he said that this was not a situation that he believed to be of great importance. I adore my extended family. 
One of the things that I am thankful for is the fact that I was able to board a plane, go to visit him, and spend whatever amount of time with him. Another inquiry, however, was the one that brought to light his underlying aspirations. His response to the question of whether or not sickness may bring a family closer together was, yeah, I'm sure. Day in and day out, I see the power of the family unit coming together through all of these families who are participating in the games. Sadly, royal analysts believe that any split that may have been caused by a succession of high-profile interviews and sanctioned books is too vast for any rift to be bridged too fast. During the course of his autobiography, Spare, Harry expressed his anger at his family, specifically accusing William of forcing him into a dog dish when he was in a state of fury. Not only that, but he did not spare his sister-in-law Kate, who was at one time portrayed as being very conservative, because she only grudgingly gave Meghan a lip balm. It would take a great deal of healing and understanding for them to regain their relationship, according to a royal source. Harry's memoir was a lightning bolt of pain for William, claimed the insider. The prospects of Prince William reaching out to his brother in an effort to heal the difficulties that exist between them are very low, according to Michael Cole, an expert on royal affairs. However, in a different context, Muhammad Ali said, there are two chances, slim and none. In other words, there are two chances, the reason is that in addition to the allegations that Prince Harry has made against his brother, accusing him of physical violence, Harry has done the unforgivable thing. He has criticized his wife, the Princess of Wales, who is a huge asset to the royal family and has done her job in an exemplary way. In addition, he said that the book Endgame, written by Omid Scotty, a former gossip journalist, had the criticism that two senior royals had made racist remarks. Racism is a particularly vile allegation because it is impossible to refute, he added. It is a very egregious thing to say. Not only do you need to demonstrate that you are not racist, but you also need to demonstrate that you are, which is very hard. There were overt and subtle jabs and critiques of not just major members of the royal family, but also the institution of monarchy itself which has provided Prince Harry with a life of incredible wealth and grandeur. In their Netflix show that went on for six hours, there were digs and criticisms of royal family members. She is the son of Diana, Princess of Wales, whose own royal heritage extends back four centuries to King Charles EU. He owes everything to the fact that he is the king's son and the son of Diana. So that is the challenge that we have. Having said that, it is not accurate to suggest that the circumstance is permanent. I am sure Prince William, who hasn't made any mistakes and judges these things well, would never rule out forever that he could not reconcile with his brother, Cole said. It would be necessary for Prince Harry to personally, directly, and with a great number of apologies to make major repairs to the fence in order to accomplish this. The reason for this is because the claims and charges that have been brought against senior members of the royal family, and more especially against the king, are very serious cases.